I wanted to take some time to give a little bit of encouragement. Now this, I'm going to start off with actual data and then give a little bit of a reflection of where we got here. Now this is for our uh, all those who are viewing from California when this goes out. Now, according to healthdata.org, that's uh, where you can find the uh, data for individual states when their uh, peak date is going to be. This is the University of Washington models. They will update, uh, from my understanding, next tomorrow. But as it stands, Um, that California will peak on April 26th, according to the data, which is later than they say that the national peak will be. The, they say the national peak will be the 15th. But here's the part that we must understand. is In their modeling, here's the number of all, all hospital beds 12,421 beds. This is in their model. All beds available to date or at the at the moment. Now there's something to uh, be glad about. 26,654. So we do not have a shortage. Now this is, now the next part is the ICU bed uh, number, which is a little bit more of a crunch than the other. And again, we have 23 days until the peak, according to this model. ICU beds are at one needed are at 1,866. Good news again. ICU beds available, 1,903. Again, a zero bed shortage, a surplus, if you will. The invasive ventilators needed, 1,493. Now, I do not know where we stand on ventilators at the moment, if we are needed, need that many more, or if that's, yes, but if, but bed numbers, we are in a great state. And one of the things you want to recognize when you look at the modeling is California in its modeling is actually one of the better models because here's what happens in the states that have the short window to peaks. I'm going to go to another state just for an example. Um, Florida. Florida is not the best example. I'm going to I believe it's Georgia. 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 They're going to be peaking just a few days before us. But here's where their numbers. They need 10,202 beds. Available, 8,322 which is a 1,880 bed shortage. 
ICU bed, not much better. Uh, 1,530 beds needed. Available 589. Uh, a ICU bed shortage of 941. So those of you who live in California, you have got one of the best state um, uh, situations in the country because of early action. New York, they're even worse than than um, Georgia. They've only got a couple days till our peak, according to the model, right? And they have a necessity of 76,130 beds to a available 13,010 beds a shortage of 63,120. And this is a state that acted only a, acted on advice only a week after um, the finalization of the stay-at-home order in California. We were already getting regulatory distancing and stuff uh, about a month before that. And in my county uh, alone, we started a county-wide stay-at-home order before our governor even stepped in. So we are one of those who um, quite literally went through a um, proactive approach. Now why is this important to understand? The importance is not that, not necessarily the numbers, but understanding the context behind how we got to those numbers. If you look at the statements of officials in California around the same time period to officials in New York, to officials in Georgia, and in Florida, you will see a, a little bit of a tonal, tonality difference. Like in California, you have the governor actually advising, this is before the stay-at-home order ever got down advising people to actually um, distance, stay home, and so forth, before he formalized a statewide order. And this is about a month in advance. So this was already coming down the pike. And then you have in the same time period, the governor of New York telling people to live their lives, keep going, and so forth. Not watching out for warning signs. And remember, this is a these are two democratic states. But the tonality difference was way different. So if you follow the strictest state regulatories. You can literally help your state peak, be delayed, and number of needed beds down. You can be that charitable person just by staying home. I know it's difficult, but please be encouraged by num by the data and by the information that's being given. I intend to do my best to uh, encourage you to do likewise. There are 
are some at-home remedies that uh, people are proposing that don't work. Follow what the science actually states. Some of the information you can get from like cdc.gov or your state uh, public health departments uh, and county or parish, whatever it is. But follow up with quality information. Thank you and have a nice day.